One other thing that we want to kind of mention and we'll talk about a lot more in another set of lectures are hydrothermal vents. Oceanic ridges like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the East Pacific Rise that I just mentioned are home to hydrothermal vents. And in hydrothermal vents, seawater is circulating through Earth's crust, heating up and being pumped out uh, in these features that are variously called white smokers or black smokers. Black smokers are the more common ones. These are mineral laden water that's shooting out, 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 out of Earth's crust or out of the crust in these areas. And they form, in many cases, some cases, massive towers as, that, as those minerals precipitate. They form these towering structures called black smokers. And we'll talk a lot more about that. But while we're on the subject of oceanic ridges, I wanted to mention this really relatively newly discovered feature that's home to a really incredibly amazing and totally different kind of life. Uh, and we just discovered that in the last 30 years or so. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, as I promised, we're going to talk a little bit more about convergent boundaries too. Let's take a little bit closer look at that. Convergent boundaries really take on the characteristics of the type of collisions that we see. And if you recall, we have two different types of crust. We have oceanic crust and we have continental crust. Well, we can get three different combinations of collisions out of those two types of crust. Still with me? We can have continental crust slamming into other continental crust. That's what happens in the Himalayas. We can have oceanic crust slamming into continental crust and because oceanic crust is denser as I said previously than continental crust remember continental crust floats like ice cubes continental crust tends to slide underneath excuse me oceanic crust tends to slide underneath the continental crust then we could have oceanic crust and oceanic crust meeting and where they meet both of them tend to dip down so let's take a closer look at that and see how those three types of boundaries, oceanic oceanic convergence, oceanic continental convergence, and continental continental convergence, let's see how those three types of boundaries create different features that we see on the seafloor or on land. Here's an example where we have oceanic crust meeting other oceanic crust and this is happening out in the middle of the ocean if you want to think about it that way but when oceanic crust meets other oceanic crust it tends to form these volcanic islands the Philippines are a really good example of where oceanic crust meets other oceanic crust this process where one plate is being thrust underneath another plate is called subduction it's not subduction, it's subduction, okay? One plate being thrust underneath another plate. And in this case, as that underthrust plate melts and releases water, melting the plate above it, volcanoes are formed. And so these island arc volcanoes, and we see many examples of this throughout the Pacific Ocean. Some of the most beautiful places in the world were created through this oceanic, oceanic, convergence, subduction of one oceanic plate underneath another oceanic place. They also create these massive trenches, the Mariana Trench, the deepest place in the world ocean. Two pieces, two plates, the Philippines plate and the Pacific plate, oceanic crust diving down into the f interior of the earth, creating this really deep, seven mile deep trench called the Mariana Trench another example of oceanic oceanic convergence here we have a figure that looks very similar except you'll note in this case we have land so we have oceanic crust being under thrust the continental crust subduction of oceanic crust underneath continental crust continental crust being lighter oceanic crust being heavier we still have a submarine trench form we still have Volcanoes formed, in this case, these are continental arc volcanoes as this underthrust plate melts and sends up magma, creating volcanoes. So here we see an example of a type of convergent boundary, a oceanic continental convergent boundary that creates features such as you might see in the Andes, the Chilean Andes. Uh, 
still have a submarine trench offshore Chile, and we have this line of volcanoes that lines the west coast of South America, created because oceanic crust is subducting beneath the continent of South America along the west coast of South America. So you should be beginning to put together some ideas or some mental pictures in your mind of how plate tectonics, how the different types of boundaries are creating some of the features that are really familiar to us on our planet. The final type of convergent boundary I mentioned earlier, but that's the continental-continental convergent boundary where two continents are slamming into each other and this is what gave rise to the Himalayas. In this case, the India plate slammed into the Eurasian plate and thrust up the Himalaya mountains. Continental, continental convergent boundary. And the recent earthquake in China that killed so many people that was so nearly, it's really catastrophic for those people, is, was caused by this collision of the India plate and the Eurasian plate. So continental, continental convergence, like other types of convergence, create earthquakes that can be catastrophic to humans.